How's it going YouTube? Got Fourth Star TCG here and I am very excited. I have the first of my $18 PSA uh, value special submissions from July back in my possession. Uh, this, this submission was about 95 cards and I sent off two submissions for, uh, for the bulk special. Both of them are back. Uh, so this video deals with the first 95 card submission, which was cards from basically, you know, uh, the Watts era, the 1990s, up through the Diamond and Pearl era. Uh, and then the next submission is uh, black and white through modern. So this first submission, again, 95 cards. This is huge. I have a ton of graded cards to show off. Uh, really excited about this, so let's not waste any more time. Uh, let's get into it. So these um, these cards, I got like five giant boxes here. Uh, I do know the grades for this as it is a direct submission, but this is really the first time that I've seen these cards, first time kind of taking them out of the box and looking at them graded uh, for this video. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, I think PSA, like, they don't really put your cards in order anymore, which is kind of annoying. Uh, at least, like, they're generally in order. Uh, but within these boxes, they don't seem to be in any kind of discernible order, which is a little annoying. I always like to show off the cards in the order that I sent them because I send them in a specific order, but whatever. So first up, really excited about this. We got a mint nine on the Moltres from the red green gift set. Uh, nine on any card from 1998 is pretty amazing. Beautiful Arita art here. Uh, thought this card might have a shot at a 10, but there is a tiny nick in that corner. So nine on this, really happy. We'll kind of go through these cards relatively quickly as uh, there are 95 of them, so it's gonna be a pretty long video. Uh, but next up, we got this Zapdos, uh, another red-green gift set card. Also scored a nine, I was kind of surprised. I thought this was good an eight just because the centering is really bad. Um, but nine on this, really happy with the uh, Mole Trace and uh, the Articuno that I sent off previously. I now have the Hollow Birds from the Red Green gift set all in, um, all in PSA 9, which is awesome. Pretty disappointed about this. Uh, near Mint 7 on this Giovanni's Persian. Not really sure why it got the 7. Um, you know, there's maybe some edge wear or, you know, back scratches or something, I don't know. Uh, kind of, I thought this would be maybe an eight or nine or something. So a little disappointing there. Uh, we'll make up for it with this. Really happy about this. Gem Mint 10 on the Blaziken Hollow from EX Power Keepers. Wow, that is pretty amazing. Awesome Masakaze Fukuda art here. Uh, Power Keeper's a little bit of an overlooked set, but definitely one of my favorites. I have a lot of 10s from, uh, from Power Keepers. I think uh, a lot of them I pulled myself. Not really sure if I pulled this Blaziken myself, but it is a truly beautiful card. So really happy to get, you know, one English 10 in this submission. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's the first 10. Uh, there will be many more, thankfully. Here's another card I'm really happy about. Mew from Legend Maker, Mint 9, Reverse Foil, awesome Kuki Saito art. Of course, I uh, sent this card off before I knew that Kuki Saito was doing a signing. Uh, probably would have been one of the cards that I took to get signed if I had, uh, if I had known that, but funny how that always happens. Uh, yeah, so we have beautiful Mew, love the Reverse Foil, love the Legend Maker. Um, set stamp in the corner there and wow this is really really nice definitely agree with the nine grade here i think there was just a little yeah we can see a ding in the in the top corner there uh, but a nine nothing to turn your nose up at on a card like that next up a modern card 2021 special delivery bidoof i love this card it's so fun so interesting i was lucky enough to get a code for it and yeah, I definitely agree with nine on this. Centering's a little off, ding here and there. That's just what you get on these modern promos. Uh, but still a very, very fun card and, and one I was uh, very excited to finally get back. 
Another little bit of a disappointment here. We got the Giovanni near mint to mint eight. I was hoping for at least a nine on this. Not really sure why. Uh, not really sure why you pulled the eight on this Giovanni, but you know, win some, you lose some on PSA grading. All right, kind of interesting. Uh, this card's popping up. Uh, yeah, again, like this last one was 365. For the uh, certification number, and this one's 423. So, a subtitle X pretty out of uh, out of the blue here, but that's what PSA is doing now. Not really sending stuff back in order. Uh, Mint nine on this centering is a little off, so I do kind of understand the nine on that. Otherwise, a very very nice card. Next up, got the Blastoise Mint nine. This was, I think, one that I was hoping for a 10 on, but these promo cards, these Coro Coro glossy promos, they are pretty prone to scratches or something. So nine on that. Next up, we got the Milotic EX from the Water Quick Construction Starter Packs, a nine on this card. Still a very, very nice, uh, nice grade nine. Again, you know, nothing to be disappointed with. And we got a Blissey EX PSA 10. I love this card. Really, really happy to get one in a 10. Any Japanese EX card that I can uh, acquire in a 10 is always super exciting. Um, yeah, really, really happy about that. Did score a 9 on another Blissey EX, but we did get the one in a 10, so pretty happy. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine to split them. And speaking of splitting them, really, really excited about this. First edition, my Lodic EX PSA 10. This is a huge card, really excited to acquire this one. I did not have a Japanese my Lodic in PSA 10. So it is really nice to add to the collection there. Next up, we got an Armaldo EX PSA 9. Now I think they're gonna, no, they're, man, this is so crazy. So, Jolteon from Split Earth, uh, PSA 10, E-Series card. They're really kind of throwing us for a loop here, uh, splitting in an E-Series e card in the middle of our Japanese EX, but 10 on the Jolteon, really happy about that. 10 on the Flygon, another awesome Japanese EX card, really happy. Uh, yeah, again, most of these Japanese EX cards are duplicates uh, in PSA 10. All of the set-based ones are. Nine on the Altaria EX. Yeah, all the set-based cards are, uh, are duplicates. So here's a big one. Rocket Scyther EX, Gem Mint 10. That is outstanding. Uh, I was surprised this got a 10. I thought there was some, a uh, little bit of wear maybe here and there on this card. Uh, pretty hard to see in this light, but you know, this is just an example. You know, those Watsy cards didn't grade as high as I was expecting, um, but this Rocket Scyther got the gem in 10. And Rockets, uh, Rocket Gang Strikes Back EX cards, these are big, uh, big cards in PSA 10. Next up, Waylord EX Gem Mint 10 First Edition. Wow, that is so awesome. Check out that hollow pattern. Check out the swirl near the uh, tail fin of Waylord. 200 HP, the biggest HP on a Pokemon card for a very, very long time. Uh, anyone who had this Waylord EX on the playground as a kid, they were pretty much royalty. Another Flygon EX, PSA 10. I sent off a lot of Japanese EX cards here. I'd been waiting for a while and uh, finally was able to send off a bunch. Lots of Flygons, uh, and thankfully we got at least two uh, PSA 10, so that is awesome. So yeah, that's certainly an interesting, uh, as I'll pull out the uh, second box here. Yeah, pretty interesting how PSA goes about uh, the goes about, you know, putting things not in order anymore. Maybe for the next submission, I'll kind of 
take them all out beforehand and uh, I'll take them all out beforehand and reorder them because it is kind of annoying to you know jump back and forth but got a mint nine on this dark tyranitar pretty nice love that hollow uh, hollow pattern there here's a really nice card Vaporeon Delta Species Gem Mint 10. Another card that maybe I would have brought signed, to, brought to the Kooky Side of signing if I uh, knew, but probably was good I didn't because it scored the uh, PSA 10 and really happy about this. I am, one of my side collection goals is getting uh, Delta Species cards in PSA 10, uh, all the Japanese Delta Hollows. Uh, so really happy to get this. This is one of the bigger, uh, bigger Delta Hollows in a ten. That is awesome. Another awesome Delta Hollow ten, the Jolteon, also from Holon Research Tower, first edition. Really, really nice. Super happy about that. Another fantastic addition to the Delta Species collection. Got another Dark Tyranitar Hollow. I uh, sent off three of these. Um, so we got another nine. But thankfully, we did get one PSA 10 on these uh, Dark Tyranitar Hollows. That's really all I want. Uh, just give me one 10. That's why I sometimes send off, you know, three copies of these cards, because you never know, you might get two nines and just one 10. Uh, but again, the hollow pattern on this card is just mind-blowing. I love it. So, so cool. All right, got some more E-Series cards now. Uh, we got the one a while ago. We got the Mag Cargo from Split Earth, which graded a PSA 10. Really happy about this. Um, in this submission, you know, kind of jumbled in everywhere, I suppose, is a mostly complete uh, Split Earth hollow set. Uh, like regular hollow set. Another Split Earth Foratress, Gem Mint 10. We got a Misty's or Maze Torchic kind of weirdly sprinkled in, in the middle of our E series cards. Uh, this scored an 8. I'm not really sure why. Uh, it looked pretty clean to me when I sent it in. Um, but yeah. Eight on that, you know, it, it's not part of a, you know, major collection goal or anything, so I don't really mind a, a low grade. Uh, those cards are pretty hard to grade in the first place, though. Gem Mint 10 on the Polyrath. Love the Aerodactyl flying in the background and the moon there. Really, really nice. Next up, Rhydon, another Gem Mint 10. Really happy about that. Incredible. This Split Earth set uh, graded really well. I am very happy about the uh, about the grades on it. Kabutops, amazing Kuki Saito art, Gem Mint 10. Yeah, these E-Series cards are not really part of my main collection goal, but, you know, I, I bought a full set of uh, Split Earth probably, you know, a year and a half ago, and it has graded incredibly for me. This is the last, uh, this is the last of the hollows that I am grading, and it's just incredible. I got all 10s on the crystals. Uh, I got, uh, yeah, so I got the ho -Oh, the Golem, the Kabutops all in 10. I got the Umbreon hollow in a 10. It is just amazing. Another Jolteon Gem Mint 10. Fantastic. I think there was, yeah, there was one earlier. So we got two of the Jolteon in Gem Mint 10. Beautiful Raichu. Yukimori art there. Love the clay Yukimori arts. They're always so nice. Raichu Gem Mint 10. Here's another huge one. Alakazam. Kimi Masago art. Just fantastic. And yeah, Gem Mint 10, really cannot ask for better on this Split Earth set. There's only one card which, uh, well, I'll, I'll address the uh, the sort of sad card when I get to it, uh, but this Polytoad was the only card in the set that graded below a 10 originally. Uh, 
So Polytoed Mint 9, you know, kind of the 9 tax. I don't really know why this was a 9. I think there were, I think like the Rhydon had uh, somewhere that I thought could possibly uh, bring it down to a 9. Check this out. One of the most uh, most exciting cards in the set, the Flareon Hollow Gem Mint 10. Incredible. And can't have Flareon without Vaporeon. Really, really nice. Another 10. First edition Split Earth. Just, yeah, I'm very, uh, very close to having the full Hollow set. I, I think I sold the Umbreon. Uh, well, I know I sold the Umbreon, but uh, outside of that, having a really, really strong hollow set is awesome for this. Ledian, Gem Mint 10, awesome there. Here's a card that I'm really happy to reclaim. The Crobat Hollow. I used to have this in a 10. I uh, sold it. I love this artwork. It is just so amazing. And more uh, Kimi Masago art. Incredible. Really happy to reclaim the Split Earth Crobat in PSA 10. And what I believe is the last Split Earth card, and what's kind of disappointing, is this Starmie. Uh, so this Starmie was graded an 8. This card was, in fact, damaged by PSA. Uh, in the encapsulating process. I can't really tell what they did to it. Um, I'll have to look at, maybe they, you know, scratched it or something. Um, yeah, looking at it off camera, I can't really see what, uh, what happened to it. Um, but this card, uh, I believe would have been a 10. Um, I don't really want to reveal how I know that, but I do know that this card would have been a 10 if PSA did not damage it uh, beforehand. So kind of disappointing, but PSA did at least own up to their mistake. Uh, they credited me the declared value for the card and they uh, credited me the grading fee. Um, so there wasn't any kind of like back and forth on, you know, what's the card worth in an eight versus a 10 or whatever it would have graded. Uh, they just credited me the declared value for the card to the order and the grading fee as well. So that's pretty nice. All right, getting the next box out here. All right, we'll, uh that to the side and get started. So we already had two PSA 10 Flygons kicking off with a third. These are just incredible. I'm so happy. Uh, I've been buying these Japanese EX cards for a really long time, uh, you know, buying duplicates because I just, I was really surprised at the prices they were going for. Um, for most of these cards, I was just willing to pay a lot more than what, uh, than other people were. Uh, and I'd win them fairly frequently. Here's a beautiful Nine Tails first edition PSA 10. Really happy about this. I think I sold off a couple of uh, duplicate Nine Tails uh, and 10, so really nice to reclaim this. I think there was something on this card that made me think it would get a nine, maybe some you know minor wear in the corner there. Uh, again, just goes to show that you know some cards grade lower than you're expecting and some cards grade higher. Here's a huge card, Arcanine EX Gem Mint 10. Really happy about this. Yeah, so that is awesome. I also believe this order came through with, as I have another uh, first edition Ninetales, PSA 10. Uh, I also believe this order came through with zero up charges, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, there are certainly cards in here that are well above the $200 uh, limit uh, for the declared value for these cards. Um, I don't know, maybe it would be a little scummy for PSA to, you know, damage one of my cards, give me a discount on the order, and then say, you know, just kidding, you owe us more money because we are upcharging you. Um, but nine on the credulity there. Um, you know, I, I, I don't mind upcharges. I think upcharges are, you know, when they're done correctly, and I've never really had too big of a gripe with PSA's upcharges. Uh, when I get them, I always think they're fair. Um, you know, I can't really argue with them. Here's an eight on this Sceptile, kind of disappointing. 
not as disappointing as this six. Uh, not really sure why. Uh, there we go. You can see there is a crease in the back right there in the O of Pokemon. Um, yeah, so sometimes you miss this stuff, uh, but six, fair grade given that crease. Uh, can't argue with that. You know, just goes to show every time you uh, every time you send off a submission, there's always going to be something that you miss. Uh, you know, I've been grading for eight years. I think I started in 2014, um, and I still miss stuff. So nobody think that you're a perfect grader. Uh, I'm really happy about this. Uh, so these these next couple cards, I believe they're all in order. Uh, there's three of them in order. <laughs> These came from a, a gift box Mew that I got scammed on. I bid on it because the seller said that the Mewtwo and Pikachu Gold Stars were in there. They were not, uh, so I got scammed on that purchase. Uh, but I think I said when I bought it, if the cards graded highly, that I would uh, still be in the black on um, on that purchase. And the cards did grade really well. We got uh, Folklore's Lucario EX Gem Mint 10 card. Really, really awesome. I think I mentioned in my uh, value uh, sub return that I really like seeing the cards that are kind of like uh, previews, preview Pokemon. Uh, obviously, Lucario is a Gen 4 Pokemon, but it's in an EX, a Gen 3 uh, art style, so that's always nice to see. Next up, here's the big one from the gift box Mew. The Mew EX, which got a Gem Mint 10. This is another one that I was kind of surprised on because there is uh, just some minor wear along the edges here, uh, which is very common on these gift box cards because they're not really all that well protected. Uh, but, you know, a 10, certainly not complaining. This is an awesome card and very expensive in uh, Japanese and, and English as well. But really happy about that. Next up, we got the Crawdont EX, another one from the gift box Mew, and another Gem Mint 10. So really happy about this. We got uh, three out of three EX cards. Uh, I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the Mighty N is buried in there somewhere. We'll get to it at some point. Uh, but really happy about that. I did not have any of those cards, uh, any of those EX cards in PSA 10 in my collection. So. Next up, another Waylord, another Gem Mint 10, really just moving through these awesome PSA 10 uh, Japanese EX cards here. Uh, I did really well on these, uh, so very, very happy about that. Yeah, overall, this submission graded very, very well for me. Uh, always a couple disappointments, always a couple really exciting cards, but overall, I'd say the submission graded about how I was expecting. Um, and that's how it always is with PSA. I feel like I'm pretty good at this point. Um, but Deoxys Speed, kind of disappointed in this, was hoping for the 10. Um, but 9, you know, when you're off by one grade, that's not really, not really all that much. Um, so Blastoise, Mint 9, another awesome card, probably a little off center. So maybe that's why we, uh, maybe that's why we got the 9 on this. But yeah, next up, ooh, this is a huge one. Really excited about this. Feraligator from Dragon Frontiers, Gem Mint 10. I've mentioned many times on my channel how challenging it is to get Dragon Frontiers cards in PSA 10 because the centering is so bad and you're dealing with a card that's, you know, goodness, 2006. How many years ago with 2006? 16, 16 years ago. Um, insane, um, but, you know, a 2006 card, wow, um, getting that in a PSA 10 with all the centering issues, uh, that Dragon Frontiers has, I've tried many times on, uh, to get a mint for alligator, uh, to get the 10, and this is the first time that I've been able to get it, so really, really happy about this. Card I've been after for a long time. Uh, beautiful Kuki Saito art. I got this one signed by Kuki Saito. Can't wait until I get the signed copy back and I can place the two next to each other. That's going to be an incredible picture. 
Next up, a uh, little disappointed in this one, this nine tails uh, came back with a mint nine. I was hoping for a 10 on this. Uh, this is certainly a candidate to resubmit uh, just because I don't think there's anything wrong with this card. Uh, Dragon Frontiers can be challenging. As I mentioned, it is not easy to get uh, those tens. Uh, but hopefully, maybe the second time around at some point in the future, we can acquire um, acquire that card in a 10. All right, now we're moving into the level X cards, the uh, Diamond and Pearl era. There might be a little bit more EX, I'm not sure. Uh, not sure really what's outstanding in this submission or if it's just um, just uh, Diamond and Pearl cards left, but I think it sent off a lot of um, Platinum level X. So we got the Tangrowth, came back with a mint 9. Here is a big card, Rayquaza C level X, B to the Frontier, first edition, gem mint 10. I am going after all of the level X cards as well in Japanese in PSA 10. Um, thankfully, I did already have this one, but more than happy to add a duplicate. Um, again, this will help quite a bit when I uh, when I go to complete that set, whether I can trade it, whether I can sell it and use the funds to buy more cards. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these tens are new additions to the collection, which is really exciting. Uh, it's really exciting to you know grade cards yourself that uh, that add to your collection goals. Absol G Level X. This is a very challenging card to find. Um, I've been buying Level X for you know probably about two years as well, um, and I've only found one mint condition Absol G, but graded a ten. So that's all we uh, really all that uh, that we need to know. Next up, Electivire FB Level X from B to the Frontier, Gem Mint 10. Another one I am super excited about. Uh, I think I have this in a 10 in English, so really great to get, uh, get another one, or well, not another one, but get the Japanese counterpart. Um, and again, that adds to the collection. That was one that I did not have in PSA 10. Next up, Staraptor FB Level X, Mint 9 on this. A little disappointing. This is the second time I've tried to grade a Staraptor FB, a second time with a 9. Um, but eventually we'll get there. I am pretty certain of it. All right. Grabbing the next box of cards here. Another big stack. I think we just have, we got this one box and then another box which has like a half of a, half of a box in it. So here's another huge card, Alakazam 4 level X from Bonds to the End of Time, Gem Mint 10. Another one that I needed for the collection. Incredible grade, really happy about this. Um, yeah, just blowing me away with these 10s. Uh, I, I bought a complete platinum set, which is where a lot of this stuff comes from. Floatzel GL Level X Gem Mint 10, again, incredible. Um, and this platinum set, you know, really blessed me. Uh, these cards were so well preserved. And yeah, I'm really, uh, this platinum set made the PSA 10 Level X goal very achievable. I think I'll probably have it done uh, by the end of next year at the latest. Um, yeah, not much, uh, not much left to go for this, uh, for this goal now. Blaziken FB Level X, PSA 10, really happy with this. Another one that I needed for the collection. Yeah, PSA striking us with the out of order cards. Here we're going back to the EX series, near mint to mint eight on the Waylord EX. They can't all be tens. Um, another can't all be ten. We got the Flygon EX, a first edition copy, mint nine. All right, back into the level X. Really excited about this one, Garchomp level X. Uh, this was from the um, Shining Darkness 
official visual book, I believe. And yes, this promo level X, uh, these are pretty hard to find in good condition. Um, best bet I would say is to buy the book and crack the level X out of the, uh, out of the book, but just make sure that when you buy the book, it actually has the level X promo still in it. Um, yeah, so 10 on this, really exciting. Love this Garchomp, probably my favorite Garchomp level X art. Um, so very happy with that. Here's a huge one. Giratina level X, Galactic's Conquest, incredible. It really does surprise me the prices on modern cards compared to vintage cards sometimes. Um, I think that for the price of a raw, Giratina alt art from the most recent Lost Origin set in Japanese, you could probably buy this PSA 10 Giratina Origin Level X from Galactic's Conquest, which was released 14 years ago and is the first appearance of Giratina in the TCG, uh, the first you know, ultra rare appearance of Giratina. I don't know what to make of that. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's an imbalance, you know, and I, I've always, you know, thought that imbalances in the market are opportunities, but you have to figure out which one the opportunity is in. Um, you know, does that mean that uh, modern cards are huge and everyone should be buying into them now? Or does that mean that these older cards are very undervalued? Does it mean that the modern card is overvalued and you should be selling it, you know, not buying at those high price points? Who knows? Uh, time will only tell, uh, but I think that's a pretty significant sign of an imbalance when uh, when you've got a discrepancy like that. Really happy about this one. Flygon level X, bonds to the end of time. So amazing. Uh, Gem Mint 10, really happy about this. Again, another one that adds to the collection. Love to see it. Adding to the collection again, Drapion Level X from Galactic's Conquest, PSA 10. Really happy about this one. Again, just checks the box. Um, you know, Drapion, probably not the coolest Level X card, but when you got to get when you are catching them all, as, uh, as is the goal for Pokemon, I suppose. Very happy about this one. Dialga G Level X Galactic's Conquest PSA 10. There are not a lot of these uh, Japanese Level Xs in 10s out there. Uh, English as well. Level X, uh, pretty challenging era to find. Um, I think there's a lot out there. I just think it hasn't been graded yet, especially you know with grading being so difficult over the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, so very challenging to uh, to find these cards already graded. A little less challenging to find them ungraded and grade them yourself. Uh, but very happy with this Dialga G level X. Another Galactic's Conquest card, Shaman level X. Very happy with this one. Another one just ticks the box, adds to the collection. Love to see it. Very, very happy about this. I've been after this card for a long time. Finally getting it, Glaceon Level X, Gem Mint 10. This is a much needed card for the collection. Glaceon, one of the biggest Level X cards. Uh, Leafeon and Glaceon, probably some of the most expensive Level X cards to buy. So really happy that we were able to score the PSA 10 on this Glaceon. Did send off two copies, uh, or nope, sorry, uh, <laughs> thought this was Glaceon as well. They do kind of look the same, don't they? You know, they got the uh, blue and, and pink-ish. Um, but I got the nine on the Palkia G level X, uh, probably because of centering, as we can see, centering is a little off top to bottom. Um, don't really see any wear on the back, or maybe, yeah, it's just a little thing there. So actually, that card, that actually, I'm kind of surprised I got a nine. I'd say that would be an eight or a seven or something. Um, so certainly 10 was not uh, not the grade for this card, um, but Palkia G level X, still nice to have in the PSA nine. And here's the uh, Mint nine uh, Glaceon level X from Dawn Dash. Yep, that's why I send in multiple copies. 
uh, always got to uh, play the odds on PSA. It is a little bit of a gambling game um, on these grades. Here's another Leafeon Level X. Really excited about this. I think I have several of them in a 10. Um, but yeah, this one, uh, this one's a duplicate, which is pretty nice. And here's the, uh, here's the final one. Here's the final EX from the uh, gift box Mew Gem Mint 10 on the Mighty Enna. They all graded PSA 10. All of the EXs from that gift box scam graded a 10. Um, so, you know, I think I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of probably $600 for that. Um, for that gift box. I think the Mew on its own is about 600. Um, so we definitely ended up getting, uh, getting our money back on that scam. Um, you know, probably not, not, not the uh, degree of value generation that I usually look for, uh, just kind of making your money back, but it does go to, go to show that, you know, even when things go wrong, sometimes they can be rescued. Um, Really, really excited about this Infernape Level X Gem Mint 10. Uh, this card I've been after for a while. I did only send off one copy in this submission, and I was lucky enough that it got the Gem Mint 10. So really happy about that. Those Space Time Creation Level Xs, uh, very hard to find, not easy to grade. Case in point, this first edition Empoleon Level X Mint 9. Been trying to grade an Empoleon level X as a 10 for a very long time. And there we go. There it is, the Gem Mint 10 Empoleon level X, finally. I already have the Torterra, so now with the Infernape as well, we have completed the uh, Space Time Creation set. Only three level X is not all that challenging, um, but still pretty hard to find all of these cards together. And the last card for this box, the Hepaudon Level X Bonds the End of Time Mint 9. This card has been a pain for me. Uh, many, many times I've graded it, many, many times it has uh, not come back with the Gem Mint 10 grade. All right, so the last uh, kind of half box here Wonder what this is going to be. I think it's mostly the uh, remaining um, platinum shinies. These are really, uh, really exciting. Uh, so these platinum shinies, these are going to grade low. They have chipping in the corners. This is fairly standard on all of these cards. Um, but you know, any grade on these is exciting. Um, getting them graded is awesome. Um, getting them in nine or above is amazing. Uh, so near mint to mint eight on the Yanma from B to the Frontier. Here's probably my favorite shiny, the Milotic, incredible. Look at that artwork, so amazing. Uh, near mint to mint eight, very uh, accurate grade there. We got chipping in the corner there, kind of starting in the corner there. Uh, definitely agree with the eight on that. This is not a uh, not a ten worthy card. However, ten worthy card certainly is this Salamence Level X from Advent of Arceus. Love that. I've tried to grade this card in a ten several times. This is the first time that I've been able to grade this card in a ten. So really happy about that. Again, checks the box on uh, on my collection. Next up, Advent of Arceus Gengar Level X. A little disappointed that this came back at nine. Um, can't really see anything on the back. Maybe the centering uh, was a reason why. Uh, but might resubmit this really just because it is so hard to find mint condition Gengar Level Xs. Uh, this is a big, big card. And, you know, again, another one of the more expensive Level Xs. Uh, within the era. Mint 9 on the Ponyta Hollow. Pretty fair again there. Got some very minor wear in the corner, a little off center. Uh, beautiful, beautiful card. Love this art. Fantastic, uh, fantastic stuff there.
Near mint to mint eight on the relicanth, another you know minor chipping in the corner, eight what I would consider to be a very uh, fair grade. The backs are really clean on these shinies. It's just that corner chipping, which affects so many of these cards. Uh, if you get any of these cards in a 10, it is a big accomplishment. Um, yeah, not wanting to uh, toot my own horn too much, but I did get this Swablu in a 10, which is awesome. Uh, really excited about that. As you can see, these corners, pretty clean. If you can avoid that chipping, that's how you get the Gem Mint 10 on these cards. So love that Swablu. So cute. Awesome Kagimaru Imeno art there. Really, really nice. Next up, the Arceus Level X from Advent of Arceus. Another awesome PSA 10. Another awesome collection edition. Yeah, just so excited uh, to acquire these Level X cards. They graded so well, the Level X era, Diamond and Pearl uh, in particular, was just amazing for me. Uh, all the cards were in great condition, so pretty much expected, but yeah, really, really nice to get so many awesome grades on, uh, on these Level X cards. Here's the second 10 that I got on the Diamond and Pearl Shinies, or the Platinum Shinies. Uh, we got the Bag On Gem Mint 10, really, really nice. Again, avoided the chipping in the corners and uh, came back with the PSA 10. Next up, Low Tad came back an 8. Again, you know, fairly standard on these cards, um, very hard to grade. I'm, I, I'm actually, I'm, I would say I am over the moon about how these cards grade. Normally when Japanese cards come back with a mix of eight, nine, and a couple tens, you're not happy, but with these platinum shinies, I am really, really happy. Got Vulpix there, another beautiful card, mint nine. Uh, as I mentioned, Mint 9 on those shinies, very strong grade. Very, very happy with that. Looks like we got another Leafy on level X, 10. That's great. Um, yeah, we're coming down to kind of the end of it here. Uh, these are just like random cards pulled from, pulled from all over the submission. Uh, but Leafy on level X, Gem Mint 10, love to see it. Here's a big card in the submission. Rayquaza EX, Rulers of the Heavens, PSA 10. This card I was not expecting uh, to grade a 10. I don't know why, I think maybe just some light wear here and there. Uh, but it did come back with the Gem Mint 10. Really happy about this. Uh, I think I, you know, I paid a good amount of money for this card. Uh, but yeah, really happy to grab this Rayquaza. We got a lot of big EX cards in PSA 10 in, uh, in this submission. And the final card in this, uh, what, how many? 95 card submission, just incredible. So happy about this, so happy to finally get back to these huge PSA returns. Uh, this is probably one of the most exciting times in collecting is, is getting back these graded card returns. We're gonna finish it off with a bang. Luxray GL Level X PSA 10. Wow, that is incredible. So that is going to do it for this 95 card PSA return. I am so happy about this. You know, look at all these graded cards, these awesome cards. Um, it's gonna be a long, long day of cataloging and scanning these cards into my collection, uh, but it's all worth it. So thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos.